So today we built a rocket sled. So it's one of those uh, sleds that look like they're gonna be really fast. A bunch of flare, a bunch of cool things. And maybe it does go down the slopes fast and sometimes it doesn't because it just has too much going on for it. Uh, so we built this in under five minutes of time. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe us down below. You get notifications of when we put out a new video each and every day. Make sure daily, we do it every single day. So also go check out our other videos, like our giveaway videos. So we're still chugging along. We've hit 50. We're gonna hit 100 here soon. We're building this channel very quickly and it's fantastic. I love that you guys are part of the community. Now let's go check out how we, how I built this in under five minutes of time. Let's go check it out. So what's next? Well, it's a sled, of course. It's winter, it's January. Let's go build a sled. So let's put five minutes on the clock. Start. And uh, let's go build a sled. So something simple is what I'm thinking. Um, most of the sleds I grew up with were just those big sheets of plastic that are cur curled up on the edge. And then we had these toy snowboards that were like $60, $70, uh, that were basically plastic versions of a real snowboard without the metal edges. But they worked fairly well for you know going down um, sled hills. Uh, so we used to use those quite a bit. Um, okay, so now what do we do here? I got the skis like to have a red sled you know some some sort of regular sled or maybe we go fancy with it what do you think should this be like a regular everyday go down the slopes kind of feel or should this be a um or should this be like a horse-drawn sled i wonder what you guys think so maybe it's gonna be like this Okay, so either that can still be a sled in which we are um, going down the slopes or d down the sledding hills. We had a sled hill over by my house when I was growing up. It was over by a church. We used to go over to the church. Um, it was, the parking lot was on the second floor. So they used to stack the snow up over this hill that was um, you know, sec basically a story and a half tall. It was, and uh, it was a steep incline but down to the ground. It was interesting. It worked out to be a great snow hill though. So all the kids in the neighborhood would go to this one spot uh, to go sledding all the time. And then our junior high was the same way. It was like built up on a pedestal, like a plateau almost. And so um it was very interesting built up that high and uh made another s cool snow snow mountain that we would climb up and go down all the time okay that doesn't look right i'm trying to stick to some colors here This is like a rocket ship sled here. I don't know what I'm doing. Just adding. Just adding pieces. Is this a Santa sled? Is that what I'm making here? Maybe it is. I don't know. Man, you know what this reminds me of? So it kind of like a Santa sleigh, but it not really. It's not a horse drawn, drawn carriage per se. I don't think. Unless I do that, typically they have something on the back side. I, mm, they have a guy up here that's sitting and pulls the sled. I'm changing the size of this often here. I think I'm just going to stick with what I had there. I think it's more like a, you know, one of those sleds that everybody gets jealous of. You know, the rich kid comes in with a giant sled uh, with all this flare and everything else, and then he goes down the hill and it's really slow, right? 
This, that's what I think this sled is. I think it's the rich kid sled that looks cool, looks fast, and then you get it on the you get it on the on the on the hill, and it goes really slow. I think that's what this is. Um, yeah, I think that's what this is because it normally is way too big, too heavy, and uh, you, whoa, just broke it. You can't push off, right? So you can't get a good jump start to the to the hill and you know if you have a small hill the jump down the hill is actually just well the jump uh jump and slide down the hill is normally just as important as how fast your sled is you know and if you have nobody pushing you and you got a big giant sled and you're doing the scooch right you're scooching across the snow on it trying to get over the edge and then it goes down the hill it will go it'll pick up speed while it's going down the hill because it's so heavy but if you don't get that jump start you can get you, you're not gonna start off that fast so that's why I think it is I think it's a rich kid sled that's got too many build, bells and whistles and it uh, it doesn't equate to a fast sled but he thinks it's gonna be a fast sled because it's got all the bells and whistles I think that's exactly what we built here. So I think it turned out pretty well. It's not exactly what I was expecting uh, to build. I was thinking more like a horse drawn, drawn carriage, but I think this turned out really well. And it turned out unexpectedly good. And that's one of the beauties of working with Legos is once you start building and you just start adding things and talking around what you're trying to build, things happen. And uh, what ends up happening is something amazing so go out and just start building something and then see how it morphs see how it changes um i've gone through multiple design iterations and then once you go out and build it then you really understand the proportions a lot better so building a mock-up out of wood out of legos whatever is always really uh highly useful so let's go oh yeah don't forget uh, to leave some pictures of one of your creations, your sled creations. Love to see it. Go post it on our social medias. Links are down below. Hashtag MakeShareDaily will get you there most of the time. And uh, let's go check out what we're going to build tomorrow. So a sled, that was a cool build. Now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. So it is mittens. Mittens and kittens, right? Mittens, the uh, the mittens where you have all the fingers combined and then you have the thumb sticking out. Those kind of mittens. Let's go ahead and build mittens uh, tomor on tomorrow's build. We release a new video each and every day at 7 a.m. Why don't you go check it out? And why don't you play along? Go ahead and build mittens out of Legos or wood or whatever your media is that you like to build things with. We'd love to see what you build each and every day. So go ahead, submit it. Mittens is the topic of the day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.